Hey Aquarius, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again here at Just Be Tarot. My name is Michelle, and we're going to get right into the nightcap. All right. It is 1 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. So let's see. Let's get right into it. For Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus, anywhere you have Aquarius in your chart, there could be a word in this for you, Aquarius. Roles could be reversed with five transposed. These are never, ever gender specific and all are welcome here. If you have an Aquarius placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus, there could be a word in this for you, Aquarius. Thank you so much for clicking on the video again. Thank you so much for your love and your support. Thank you so much for all of your donations. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. For every token of love, I appreciate you. So let's see, Aquarius. Let's bring out one of the overall energy cards first. Spirit, angels, and ancestors, what's a clear and accurate message for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, north node, Jupiter, Juno, Venus. Spirit, angels, and ancestors, a clear and accurate message for Aquarius. What do you want Aquarius to know at this time? Let's see. Oh, fire guardian, ignite your passions. Bottom of the deck, she wolf, unleash the wild within. <laughs> well, and then you have the great teacher. Learn from spiritual experiences. There's, there's the storyline here, okay? Some of you, you're still in this energy. For others of you, starting in December, you're going to feel totally different. One, one, one. You're going to feel like you've gone through a death process. -y. You closed out a cycle. You began anew. Past energy here, I feel like you've been in um, spiritual mode. You've been in quiet contemplation. You've been doing some self-reflection. You've been hermiting and coming out and then hermiting and then going out and then hermiting. Like it's been repetitive is what I feel. I feel it's been repetitive because you still have some lessons to learn probably still do but you've learned some things okay literally it's like you can turn student to teacher you literally could teach someone a thing or two about love you can teach someone a thing or two about release because of what you have been through i also feel that your guides have been uh teaching you this okay the hermit traditionally talks about um, self-reflection, falling back, trusting your guides through meditation. Um, but the hermit is literally goes within as a student seeking knowledge and reappears as the teacher. So I feel like that's what is going on here. I also feel some of you, different messages for different people, take it as it resonates. Somebody may be going on vacation, retreating, um, needing to rest and relax, get some R&R &R because all they do is work, work, work. And um, the only way they're going to get the knowledge that they really need is to stop working for a while, stop working, overworking their mind, overworking their body, overworking their energy. They need to retreat and recharge. Um, there's also an energy here that there's a grid behind here. Somebody needs to pay attention to the sign synchronicities. Confirmations. The grid. Pay attention. Okay? Because there's something your guides want to teach you. All right? There's something you're going to learn. Okay? So listen to your guides. I do feel this energy here with the great teacher. Again, you could be re-emerging as a teacher or you have been taught several different lessons at different times or another, depending on your situation, your story, take it as it resonates. Um, but yeah, you're learning from spiritual experiences because you can see, right? Can't you? I think the camera could show. You see this grid here? Okay. 
there's also a grid here if you can see it here these lines they are all around here okay now i also feel the energy here that you are spiritually protected and connected so sign synchronicities are very very important i feel that you if you've been paying attention you've already learned some things you've already experienced um this let's read the great teacher the great teacher is one of the um in this uh deck here is one of the sacred ones okay one of the sacred ones is coming to you know that what is happening around you is divinely happening it is divinely inspired learn from your current experiences then share them with others yeah the card was inspired by jesus who is one of the most widely acknowledged and loved spiritual teachers of all time the carpenter but there is a great teacher in every tradition and this card represents the one to whom you feel closest to whatever you subscribe to aquarius okay so don't get caught up in titles the teacher wears simple clothes here in demonstrate in demonstration that even if you live a simplistic life it can be an incredibly spiritual one he is surrounded by a sense of serenity and harmony because he has absolute trust in the higher power that moves through him and the dove on the card represents receiving answers to prayers through signs and experiencing peace through joy if you feel that you've received messages from heaven or the universe recently this card is confirmation that these have indeed been truly holy experiences in either way this card shows that you have dedicated a lot of time effort and energy into understanding yourself and the world around you you are having spiritual experiences at this time and you are gaining the greatest awareness of what you need to do in order to grow elevate and evolve aquarius so again 11 11. i do want to read the fire guardian so you have fire guardian and release the wild within you under this full moon here i don't know maybe i should really i should read this one okay yeah that is really drawing um my attention here all right so let's <laughs> let's see okay let's see all right so we know that the fire guardian is um a guardian <laughs> and a messenger in this deck okay it asks you to ignite ignite your passions and connect with your desires the sparks could lead to something beautiful and very abundant and successful for you aquarius all right Fire is an energy that many people are afraid of, but should not be. Burning desires can lead to great experiences and expansion. Allow the fire guardian to help you awaken a wilder side. Wow. Awaken a wilder side. And then the she-wolf says, unleash the wilder side within you. The wild side within you. Wow. Okay. Synchronicities. Okay. Oh, I get excited when this kind of thing happens. All right. Awaken a wilder side of yourself and learn and learn from it and burn away any fear or shame that stands between you and your desires. When this card appears, you are being reminded that passion is powerful and absolutely encouraged by spirit. 
If you are in a relationship, this card can indicate a great spiritual and sexual connection. Ooh, doggy. <laughs> always laugh because Aquariuses are always writing in the comments, I don't want no relationship. I haven't met nobody. I've been single for, you know, this and that, okay? Where the cards are stating that you are being guided by your angels to connect with powerful energy of desire at this time. So whatever you desire, whatever you want to manifest, whatever you're passionate about, let the fire guardian help you manifest that, okay? Help you to bring out that side of you, okay? Under this full moon that just happened. Ooh, the supper is getting ready to be very interesting, okay? Let's see, is the she-wolf a part of the... Ooh, the she-wolf is a part of the sacred ones. Wow, okay. Just like the great teacher, it states, let your wild side up and out. Unleash your talents and your desires. The she-wolf is a powerful shamanic soul who is half wolf and half woman. She is an alpha female who is not afraid to stand out from the crowd or in this case, out of the pack. She is wild, she's unfiltered and unfettered. She encourages you not to be trapped or limited by anyone or anything or any weaker members of your pack, your tribe, or those who are trying to hunt you down because you have gifts they don't like or that they do not understand. She represents the energy of the wilderness and the unknown and encourages you to be free, Aquarius, to be unchained and to go beyond boundaries. Release the animal energy within you and track down what you need to do to express your true self. Let the wolf energy within you help you track down what direction you can take and what direction you may want to go in and don't let any traps um, get in the way of your freedom or your growth. The life you want is awaiting you. It is here for you, Aquarius, okay? Ooh, doggy. So you run from quiet contemplation, reflecting, meditating, uh, looking at the gatekeeper of the Akashic records, your spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, um, learned how to see, hear, and listen to sign synchronicities, your higher ups, that inner voice, um, learned how to release some things and just, um, I feel, gotten some rest. Okay, got in some healing, uh, got in some, you know, direction here. Okay, or at least that's what your guides are trying to do. You may have even released some people out of your life. You may have stepped back. You may have stepped all the way back. Okay, and maybe you had to release um, some type of love. All right, some type of connection. You may have had to release it. You may have had to get got, get free, is what I'm getting. And now you're in the energy where you're ready. You're ready to produce. You're ready to achieve. You're ready to make moves. You're not afraid. Under this influence here, you are unafraid of um, naysayers, of what people may think. <laughs> 
<laughs> or what people may say. It's like, mm -mm, this is like boundless, okay? <laughs> Somebody is truly liberated. And I feel that someone has the magic touch here. All right? Because you can see, it looks like uh, this person here is... What is this in his hand? I don't know. Okay. It's like floating. I don't know what this is. Looks like money. Pentacles, energy. Somebody is igniting their passion. All right. Wow. You see how this fell over here? Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. Woo, somebody is going after it. Wow, what is this? Okay, somebody may have had to heal. Queen of Cups coming out inverted. So somebody may not have been emotionally available or connected to their um, feelings. Somebody was disconnected. Okay, there was an energy in the past when it pertained to this healing you know, spiritually connecting. The Queen of Cups talks about intuition. So somebody was out of touch with their intuition is what it looks like, okay? Not only that, they weren't moving from their heart space. They were moving more from their masculine and not their feminine, okay? Um, there's also an energy here of needing mommy healing, okay? Um, something about feminine healing, okay? From feminines in our life. Uh, mother figures or you know we all have divine feminine energy but the queen of cups does talk about more of a matriarch okay so there may have needed to be some mommy issues that needed to be healed all right or parental issues that needed to be healed there's also an energy here where someone could not see or recognize what was um, hindering them regarding their heart chakra. Or someone saw it, but was not ready to reveal. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. With the five of pentacles, someone felt a lack. And I feel with the hands open, someone is asking for support and receiving it. With this um, five of pentacles, somebody feeling left out. So like I said, um, there may have been an underlining tone here where someone needed to heal because of a disconnection regarding love, regarding family, regarding mother, regarding intuition, regarding feelings. Love is what I feel. Yeah, see, with the Queen of Pentacles, this is the healing coming through. This is the help. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who is full of energy and life and um, they have what they need, right? Because sometimes in the Queen of Pentacles, I feel that they are lacking because they don't give themselves what they need. They give everybody else. So somebody may have depleted that energy. Somebody may have just been doing a lot of working and not really pouring into themselves love, okay? Pouring in TLC, giving themselves what they need. They may have been lacking that, okay? Um, but like I said, with the help of your guides, with this being the church here, right, the temple, um, somebody is receiving help. Someone's asking for help, and they are receiving it. I feel that somebody is getting exactly what they need. They're getting direction, okay? I also feel that somebody is getting a gift here. Five of Pentacles and this big, huge pentacle that the Queen of Pentacles holds dear to her, close to her chest. This is the energy of a gift. Okay, Six of Pentacles. All right. <clears throat> when you give in to Spirit God, Source, your guides, they give to you. All right. When you let down your guard and stop resisting, um, they give in to you. Okay. And they fill you with what you need. Here. Yeah. That's what I see. Yeah, see, and then there's another mother here. I mean, the empress is mother. So we have the queen of cups, the queen of pentacles, and the empress. That's three fe fe feminine energy. So um, 
something about that here. Somebody may have felt a lack of support when it pertains to feminine energies. Like a mother, a sister, a sibling, um, a friend. But female energies, that nurturing, kind, compassionate, loving energy that you receive from a feminine uh, is lacking here. Someone is being given that kind of information regarding what they need in their life. Yeah, they had inconsistency in their life when it pertained to receiving the love that they needed and required the nurturing, the consistency of always knowing that this kind of motherly, loving, caring, um, building, like steady, I want to say steady, this steady kind of energy, it wasn't always there. It was inconsistent. All right. It was in and out and then it just disappeared. Yeah with the death card here. So somebody may be healing is what I feel, Aquarius. Um, that's what they needed to do. They needed to heal because this is this energy back here really feels like a blockage. Somebody needed to transmute that energy, go through um, some type of spiritual healing when it comes to the divine feminine principle. I'm hearing, I never knew love like this before, okay? I never knew love like this. So that doesn't mean that, wow, look, my guides did it again, two of cups. I never felt love like this before, okay? So somebody may have been mm -hmm, given what they want and what they desire and what they need. However, not being able to sustain it, not being able to accept it, not being able to identify with it because they didn't have it before. Instead, yeah, they had issues. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, the devil is under that. Page of Swords. Wow, it takes a long time to get to the Two of Cups. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. Who is that? Stephanie Mills? Open my eyes. Never, never. All right, let's see. Wow, look at this. King of Pentacles. Along with the Queen of Pentacles on this side, somebody is going to open up to what they really want. Stability, security, family, um, a connection that has longevity, okay? Something that's going to last, something that is going to align, okay? <clears throat> Earthly energy as well, okay? Earth, grounded, okay? Supportive, solid, all right? With the King of Cups here, look at this. And now the King of Swords. Wow. So all of this feminine energy was over here along with the Empress that we saw. And all of these cards are coming out again. Four of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Two of Cups, Hierophant, and the Empress. Somebody is going to be able to accept Six of Cups, accept soulmate energy, accept the things that they want and go after it, arms wide open, no longer hiding themselves. Somebody may have gone to like with the um, hermit and the great teacher here. This could talk about therapy as well, but somebody's getting grounded and I feel there's an energy here where someone's going to be successful in their manifestation. There's a great awakening here, 1111. And we started at the time 111, okay? There's this energy here where somebody is literally accepting what it is that they truly want, accepting that there needed to be healing. 
accepting, learning, and being, I, I want to say I'm acknowledging um, the fact that there were some things that they were missing. They may be, you know, a late bloomer is what I want to say, okay? Um, learning the spiritual, these spiritual lessons and also um, going through this herb school. Someone just did not know or they knew and they just did not know how to heal it. They are finding the information. It's your time is what I'm getting here. There's the energy here, King of Swords with the King of Cups. But you can see the King of Swords is, I feel, a feminine energy. All right. I feel that somebody is really balancing out their masculine and feminine energy and they're moving from a more mature, open and available uh, place here. All right, you can see the King of Cups, the Queen of Cups inverted here. Somebody may have even had a better relationship with their father or the male figures, all right? Or um, it may not have been an easy relationship, but this looks like it wasn't even existent. It's something like that. It's trans pose it okay but that's what i'm seeing i'm seeing that somebody is good at cutting people off because of um because somebody cut them off it's like easier it's easy but now that they're receiving help five of pentacles and getting what it is that they getting in touch with what they really want for stability security happiness, joy, abundance, and all of the things that everybody wants. Um, and it will look different to everybody, but it feels the same, okay? Uh, there's an energy here where someone is being is identifying with that. This could also be someone outside of you, so don't take it if it doesn't resonate with you. It's somebody's energy that I'm picking up. Somebody wants stability, <laughs> okay? King of Pentacles is the catch. Not only are they stable with their work, you know, um, but they're very generous. Okay. They manage their time. They make time. They're very generous. And with the eight of wands here, I feel like someone is well on their way. And even when it pertains to their legacy, 10 of pentacles, when it pertains to their community, when it pertains to the people that they jive with and align with. All right. Uh, <laughs> they are manifesting, um, more action into their life is what I feel. Somebody is manifesting six of cups, all right, which is soulmate energy. I also feel that somebody is binding up the past, binding it up, setting themselves free is what I see here. So let's just see what spirit says and close this out for you, Aquarius. Overall, we have the four of wands, which talks about again that uh, manifestation 11 11 great awakening and having something to celebrate it is also you know a beautiful home it is a firm foundation it's a wedding it's love all right with the eight of pentacle and this uh, with the two of pentacles and this figure eight here i feel like someone is solid they are balanced and there's this energy here of mastering balance all right with the two of cups like i said before two two is here and i feel like that's the master builder i feel that somebody is building a beautiful relationship because they are ready they are grounded they are more mature um and again they have mastered this balanced energy here and with the number eight there with the two of pentacles it talks about infinity everything and everyone being connected there's a commitment here that is it looks really, really good, actually, uh, with the Empress. I feel that somebody has, again, someone has had some type of therapy, okay? With Hierophant, that could be therapy. It could be, you know, a belief system that has changed or altered, okay? Or is being looked at from a different perspective so that they can embrace um, the feminine energy of the Empress here. Male or female, doesn't matter. First card out, Archangel Lavender. 
prepare for soul healing. Forgive and release everyone. What else do we have? Archangel Jewels align with the highest and go with the flow. So this is water. It's love. Okay. Going with the flow. One more card here and then we're going to get out another oracle and close this out for Aquarius. Oh, these are too many, I feel. This is the one that's supposed to come out. That's what I feel. Um, Seraphimum. Sarafisa, relax and open up to source. Keep your heart open. That's exactly what's happening. You're, you're manifesting. Okay? You're on the frequency of the heart being open is what is happening. And Spirit God Source is sending love your way. Okay? Period. That's what's happening. Relax and open up to source. That's what you're doing. You're getting everything that you want here all right let's see what else do we have with these cards here for regarding this message we have self-employment yep king of pentacles is the bank is the catch it's the queen of pentacles king of pentacles we're talking about <laughs> um two people or maybe a contract a company an organization an institution you're coming together with folks who have knowledge and more than that they're entrepreneurs you're going to receive some type of help here you are a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities so entrepreneurship could be in your future or you could already be doing that Aquarius okay explore your options it's time to look at other possibilities It's a good time to make changes Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What else is here for beautiful Aquarius? <laughs> I like it. Mm-hmm. Treasure chest. Yes. You are very abundant. And not only that, the thing is, in December, I feel it's a game changer. I do feel this energy where you're going to be moving more from a manifestation uh, period, okay? Where you're going to be able to ignite different things just by your frequency, Okay, um, you're going to be moving away from um, this back and forth, back and forth with this contemplation, and you're literally ready to take what you want. Okay, you're moving from passion, you're moving from desire, you're moving from that fire, okay, that courageousness and that bravery, that fortitude and that warrior stance. You're literally manifesting what it is that you want in your life. And by doing so, you're unveiling this buried treasure that was within you all the while. It says here, an unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. It's within you, Aquarius. You've always had it there. Okay, let's get one more beautiful card here for Aquarius and let's close this out, Spirit. Okay, see? I knew it. Alchemy. Alchemy. You are the alchemist. You have the Midas touch right now, and every project you begin turns to gold. Remember that, Aquarius, all right? 